In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can create your very own geometric eye, like you can see right here, using the online math app Desmos. And to get started, I'll show you how to get into Desmos. You're going to go to desmos.com. Uh, you can log in if you want to save this. You need to create an account. You can also, it's a, I believe it's a Google product, so you can sign in using uh, Google if you have a Google account. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to get the geometry tool up and running. Okay, to start off, I'm going to use the circle, the circle tool. I have construct tools, and then I have transform tools. We're going to use both of those. I'm going to start out with a circle. Just clicking and dragging up in a circle. Then I'm going to do a segment between those two points to get a radius. And I'm going to divide this circle into 32 sectors. Okay, now 360 degrees divided by 32 is 11 and a quarter degrees. And so I'm going to rotate this segment 11 and a quarter degrees all the way around. So to do that, I'm going to go to Transform, and I want to do a rotation. It says choose your center point. So I want that to be the center of my rotation. I want the angle to be 11.25 degrees. And I select the segment, and I just apply it. Boom. And if I hit this 32 times, actually 31 because I already had one radius in place there we go okay and everything that we do from now on is going to be based on this transformation tool that we just created let's go back to construct and I need to get the midpoint of this segment so I'm going to go to more tools get the midpoint there it is. And now I'm going to construct a circle from that midpoint out to that point that's on the circle, the outer circle. And let's go back to transform. And what I want to do is actually transform, rotate this circle right here. So I'm going to select that circle and I'm going to apply our rotation of 11.25 degrees. 31 times. You can see that our, our pattern is starting to take shape. And I think that's it. Okay. Go back to construct. Make sure you have your select button. And I can grab this point and expand it and shrink it. Okay. And then I can also just move the whole thing around like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I don't need these segments anymore. So I'm going to hide them. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to just select each segment. I'm holding down the shift key so that they all stay selected as I click on them. Okay, I paused the recording because that was kind of boring watching me select these those uh, spokes, those radii. So now that all 32 um, radii are selected and I hit hide. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out a little bit by dragging this point on the outer circle out and I'm going to go to my polygon tool and I'm going to make a polygon right here. Now a polygon has segment sides, not arcs, but at the scale we're working at, they're indistinguishable. Okay, when you create your polygon, make sure you go back to the original point to close off the polygon. Okay, now I'm going to go to my transform and I'm going to select that polygon. Nope, not the point. There, the polygon. And I just hit apply to our rotation. And guess what? I rotate that thing 31 times around the center of our circle. 
And now I'm going to go back to construct. I'm going to do another polygon. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a checkerboard pattern here. Okay, go back to transform. Select that polygon. And as I finish each level of polygons, I can select these points holding down my shift key and hide them. Okay, and then I can actually, there are actually um, polygon segments here and I can hide those because I was just rotating the polygon itself, not the um, sides of the polygon. So I can hide those and that makes it look consistent. Okay, I'll do uh, one more level and then I'll pause it. And I'll drag this down so you can see it working. Okay, I'm going to select the polygon. Whoop! I made a mistake, which is good. I just hit Control Z to undo. Keeps wanting to select. Okay, when that happens, I'm just going to zoom out. That gives me more room to. There we go. Okay, I'm going to finish this, but I'm going to pause it because you don't need to see all that. It's just a repeat of the same process over and over again. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back at the outermost row or outermost uh, circle of polygons, and I wanted to show you what I do here. So I'm going to go click, 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 and back to my starting point, and go to transform. Up. Let me open this up just a little bit more so I can get some area to click on it. This is so narrow. Okay, let's see if this will work. So now I'm going to, there we go. And I'm going to rotate that by 11 and a quarter degrees 31 times. Should see it. There it is. Go back to select. And I can shrink this down a little bit. Okay, and let me hide these points and these polygon edges. All right, there we go. And there is your geometric eye. And of course, you can also play around with the colors. So I could make this, I could have made the circles black. I could have made um, the polygons any color I wanted. The default was this blue. I could have made them green. Go back and change that. Okay, but that's the basics of how to do that using Desmos and the geometric tools. Have fun.